this may be a hard pill to swallow, but it shouldn't bother your significant other that you're just trying to communicate and just trying to make the relationship better as a whole. It shouldn't bother them. If you got a problem with something, whether if they doing too much of it or they not doing enough of it, or if you're not comfortable with some, et cetera, et cetera, they shouldn't get defensive or straight off the bat. They, it's, they shouldn't because at the end of the fucking day, you're not doing them, but just trying to communicate. You feel me? So instead of them getting defensive, they should just try to understand you better and take accountability for their actions. But I'm just fucking saying though, bro. First and foremost, if you are with a partner who does not want to communicate things, well, you're trying to make the relationship dynamic better. And obviously, communicating more creates a stronger relationship bond. Better communication, guys. It helps with everything. But if you have somebody who's always like rebuttaling that, combative, and doesn't want to talk and always like isolates, guys, they might have an avoidant attachment style. Please understand what that is. It's a person who doesn't want to talk, doesn't know how to talk about their feelings, things like that. If you want to be with somebody like this, I suggest getting therapy to where you both can have somebody to help you maneuver to talk to each other or I suggest running for the hills because guys, it shouldn't be pulling teeth to try to communicate with somebody. You see what I'm saying? I understand giving the person space to cool off things like that or maybe they misinterpreted something. I get that. But every single time you're trying to come to them, they're like, oh, no, nah. or they get mad. That's not a person you want to be with because if somebody sees you're in distress and sees you're upset about something, naturally, someone who cares about you is going to want to fix that. If I love you and I care about you, I want to see you happy. Why would I want to see you anything less than that? And the type of person I am, guys, when I care about somebody and I love them, I'm not going to sit there and ignore them. I've never been that type of person. Especially if I see somebody wanting to talk, wanting to work shit out. That's very rare nowadays. Everybody gives up and wants to fucking run and nobody wants to talk about shit no more and fix it. Everybody just wants to leave and turn the other cheek. No. So if you have somebody who wants to sit there, work things out with you and try to communicate to make your relationship better, do it, dude. Do it. And another thing, if you're the type of partner who has a woman who's naggy and she's saying the same thing over and over and over again, I need you to really sit back and think about when you guys have had a conversation, when you left the conversation, do you feel like she was happy or you were happy? Before you leave a conversation with your partner, you should always ask, hey, is there anything else you needed to say? Do you feel satisfied with the conversation if we leave the conversation? If you both parties are not happy, why are you guys leaving the conversation or not coming back to it to fix it? When you leave a problem on the back burner, no matter how far you get in a relationship, it's always going to be there until it's dealt with. That's how it goes. So if you plan on being with this person long term, why not make your relationship dynamic happy? Why not communicate and love each other? Why be immature and ignore each other and do all that little kid stuff? Really think about that. Make your relationship great or chaos. Your choice.